fare thee well. Is known for his sensitivity 
at the touch will bruise like the petals of a desert rose. Their feet 
He didn't want to marry you anyhow. And they cut on out of there. And so it was. Cowboys came and went, but none was a real cowboy at all. One day during a hard rain, a young man knocked at the door. He did not ask for her hand, but something about him gave her a notion. She said, my longhorns don't much like rain. Would you ride out and check on them, then come right on back? No trouble at all, said the cowboy. And while he was pouring the rain from his hat, fare thee well, tuck the itty bitty black eyed feet underneath the saddle blanket. As he rode along, he twisted and twitched. The saddle squeaked and squeaked, and despite his squirming, he could find no comfort. So the cowboy returned. Ma'am, he called, could you spare another saddle blanket? Something surely worked its way under my saddle, but I can't locate the culprit. Fair the well, fetched another blanket, which the cowboy piled on top of the others, and he set out, set out once more. Time and again, he retraced his steps. Time and again, fair the well, gave him more blankets, and the itty bitty black eyed pig was just a working in a rubbin and causing him no end of pain. The cowboy gritted his teeth against it. Though he sorely needed more blankets, he thought, this time I'll not go back. I have a job to do. And he rode out toward the herd. The rain kept coming down, lightning sizzled across the sky. Then a boom of thunder spooked the longhorns. Something awful. They set up with a fearsome ball and cut loose like a runaway locomotive. There seemed no way to control them. The cowboy and his horse were wedged between the cattle, so of course they took off too. Woo-wee! It was a painful ride, jolting up and down on the itty-bitty black eyed pea. It was a dangerous ride too. Like as not, the rampaging longhorns would squash both man and horse. But the cowboy had a stroke of luck. Back at the ranch, fare thee well, Aww. had heard the thundering herd.
the stars that night were big and bright as they saddled their horses and headed out. In front of them shone 